I want to start by talking about how I come up with and execute my ideas. It's basically a three-step process. One, think of an idea. Two, evaluate the idea. Three, commit to the idea. A lot of the things I make tend to fit into a few different buckets. Mechanical stuff, flying stuff, architecture stuff. But even knowing what I'm interested in, starting a new project is never painless. Like any creative pursuit, I find myself staring at a blank canvas quite often. And digital art can be especially tough as a blank canvas, compared to something such as drawing with pen and paper or other physical mediums. I've come up with hardly anything just futzing around in Blender. There's a good reason why so much of my work involves buildings, architecture, and city elements. It's because I live in a city, and frequently I come up with many of my ideas when I'm outside walking around. I'm lucky to live in New York City where it's hard not to be inspired by your surroundings on a daily basis. So that's one piece of advice. Go outside, explore, take note of things that grab your attention. And I'm not saying you have to stumble upon the greatest thing in the world or some immaculate architecture. Sometimes it's the opposite. Very subtle and hidden things can be inspiring. And if you feel like you live in the most boring place in the world with nothing to inspire you, you don't have to go outside. You can watch movies, you can read books, you can find inspiration anywhere. When I come up with an idea that excites me, I write it down on my phone in a list. The next step is to evaluate this list and determine which idea I should use. There are a few things I do to evaluate and turn a list of potential ideas into one candidate. First off, is, in our case, 3D animation the best medium for this idea? Quite frequently, I'll see something in the real world that strikes my attention and I'll become attached and obsessed with turning it into a Blender idea. But sometimes Blender is not the right medium. Sometimes a camera, just taking a photograph, is a better tool than Blender. Recreating some things with Blender just suck the life out of them and whittle out the unique details that make them great to begin with. Typically, my best ideas elevate things I see in the real world and are things that cannot be done with just a quick photograph. It's also important to ask yourself why you're doing this. Sure, you find a crazy looking house in the middle of the city. Why are you making this in 3D and not just taking a picture of it? Is it to improve your skills? Is it to put something in your portfolio? Second, do a quick Google search. See if your idea has been done before. Often I'll come up with what I think is a really cool idea and Google will immediately show me that everybody has thought of this, everybody has made it, and it is not worth my time to try again. On the other hand, sometimes I'll Google an idea and I'll see that it has been done and no one's done a good job. So I should try and do it better. Allow other projects to motivate you and not discourage you when you're creating. Third, try to figure out how long the idea will take you to make. How much time do you need? What corners can you cut? What software do you need? What skills do you know? What skills do you need to learn? Finally, the third act here is committing to the idea. And this is easier said than done. Most of my favorite projects have taken me about a month to make, and about 75% of that time is spent very unsure if the thing I'm working on is any good or if it'll even see the light of day. I feel like I'm working in the blind, and it's hard not to feel like I might be just wasting my time. One thing you can lean on if you're a beginner or even a more advanced artist is you will always be learning new skills. Even I don't have a perfect track record, and I occasionally will abandon projects when I feel that it's too much or I can tell that my vision is just not coming through in the final product. <laughs> Luckily, we're not gonna be coming up with any new ideas today, but I encourage you to keep watching to see how I made this walking building and hopefully you'll be inspired along the way.